Welcome back everyone to an exciting day. We've got some slight northwest winds, five to eight miles an hour, so that's gonna be doable. We've selected a nice marsh that should protect us from these winds. Uh, going after flatties again, I've got my boy here, Nick, RX Angler. His information is gonna be linked in the description below. We are taking these two beasts. So let's get everything unloaded. We'll get out there and try to get on them flatties. Golden, look at that. That's gonna catch something. Full speed ahead to spot number one. We'll see if the flatties are gonna be out here. I know that they're in transition right now. A lot of people have been posting on social media the kind of luck that they've been having. Well, we're trying to get in on some of that luck. Last cast right here. I don't think this first spot's gonna produce. I haven't got a bite. I'm looking at Nick fish and he hasn't got a bite. I don't wanna to waste too much time in this one area when we can definitely try to hunt these flatties down in different locations. Spot number two, we'll dedicate maybe 15 minutes at the most. We wanna hit this structure right up ahead. Spot number two did not pan out. Here we are, spot number three the mouth of the marsh. Hopefully we do get a good bite. I'm about to put this lure up and start fishing the bottom for these flatties. So those guys, ooh, look at this little fella. That's a good sign. I had really good luck. I don't know what kind of crabs these are. That's a little brownish color, dude. But the reds, they were just gorging themselves on those things. Man, we may need to hit the backside of Pierce, bro. There's the bite. Got him. Oh, he let it go. Oh my gosh, he was running out into the channel with it. Right here at this drain. And we got a nice bite, but crazy me. I tried to wait a little bit to set the hook and then the fish <laughs> already ran towards me. So when I set the hook, I just basically pulled up my slack and then I started reeling in thinking that I hooked them and he let it go. I have never really caught a keeper out here. Honestly, never have trying to break the curse there there we go there we go there we go oh we got him that time look at that baby you shouldn't have messed with it there's a bunch of smoke down there this guy was just going towards the channel oh he is not coming up what do we got Oh my God, that's a doormat flatty. All right, I have been waiting for these fellas and we have got a flatty on the line. Look at this. This is a big fella. Oh my gosh, please don't break my heart. Oh yeah, woo baby, finally. Oh, <laughs> my hands are shaking. I, this dude, holy cow. Please tell me I'm recording. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Sorry about the water on the hat. Look at that. Tell me that is not big. He's got some shoulders and we are gonna eat good tonight. We gotta hurry up and get this guy off, measure him, just so that y'all can see the size of it because I'm curious myself. It is a big one. He's gotta be pushing close to 20 inches or so. That is a 20 inch flounder right there on the button. On the bugs, the curl tail, the redfish jig with a chartreuse Berkeley gulp, the swimming mullet, the four inch variety. Ah, Heath, thank you so much, brother, for recommending this color right here 20 inch flounder holy cow i'm telling y'all what i am so excited it's i haven't had this feeling in a while catching reds it's fun too don't get me wrong but when you're setting out to catch flounder and 
you don't actually get it done. Um, when you finally do, oh, the feeling is great. I'm trying not to fish slow. I'm like trying to hurry up and keep it on the bottom, but bounce it back. Just want to cover tons of water. Oh, there's, I got him. Look at that, that's a trout. Dude. The trout is, this guy has got some shoulders. <laughs> this guy acting like a flounder. I was bouncing it on the bottom. You should have just left it alone. Boy, he just come right out of the fridge. The bugs on the bottom, 64 and a half degree water. He's got some shoulders on him. The guy is thick. Hold on, settle down. I'll, I'm gonna put you back on that in the water, but you going in on the stringer in the water. 16 and a half inches with a pinched tail, thick shoulders. There it is, look at that. Mm, that's gonna be some good eating tonight. Oh, <laughs> you guys just don't know. Of course y'all do know. Uh, really good eating tonight though. Well, if I can get this knot out. No, I'm scared to lose that guy. All right, that took a little while. I'm scared to, to let this flounder go. Uh, let's see, if he's going like that, then we need to go through the mouth and out just like that. I'm actually trying to think about this. A lot of y'all have scolded me. Ow, he got me. Little turd. Look at that. We are now blood brothers, but not for too long. Oh man, he got me. Oh! Y'all didn't see that and y'all didn't hear that earmuffs. I dropped my stringer line. Gosh, I love these reels. I mean, the ability, to, oh, there goes the bite. We got him. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. I don't know what this is, though. Oh, it's a red. Is he gonna be a keeper? Probably not. We got a little chicken on the line. Well, we completed the slam, but it's not a traditional one in a sense that we uh, didn't get a keeper. Nice little mud chicken right here in the marsh, doing his thing, throwing the hoagies, the swimming jack. A beautiful little chicken, look at that. Little fella has been terrorizing the shrimp. Look at that little blue tail, beautiful. What are you painting, bro? Painting sky scenery and stuff like that? Go on, Picasso. Well, the fish are biting. I knew eventually this marsh would have to turn on for me. This is my, uh, what is this, my third trip out here. And the first two trips were horrible. I got skunked. But finally, finally, this bad boy produces. Is that what you're using? Here, come get this other color. Oh, there's a bite. We got him. He bit and ran. Dude, it's it's another nice trout. Look at this. Probably about 16 inches, 15 to 16, somewhere around there. Uh, good table fare, these guys are. Let's just make sure. On the hoagies, getting it done. Bugs and hoagies kind of day. Here we go. Close your mouth, bro. Close your mouth. Seriously. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to close my mouth because then you're going to see how big I am. Pinched tail. 
we are right at 15 inches. Look at that. Mouth at the end of the board, 15 inches. Uh, too little. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I was going to say too little. We're going to throw him back. I was only saying whoa, whoa, because he almost took my little hoagie bug. <laughs> this guy is worth its weight in gold, too. Man, why go to anything else when the lures that you're using constantly catch fish? I absolutely love these things. Confidence bait, hoagies, and the bugs, both confidence lures. Oh, look at that. Right there, there's some bait just jumping like something was chasing after them. Okay, come on, get out of the grass. Quit playing around. But I know there's something in there. Because they ain't going to do that just because. Something's got to scare them. There it is. We got him. Yes! What I tell y'all? <laughs> this fella, you little buck tooth bandit. He's got to be hungry to hit this little sheep's head. You got to be kidding me, son. All right. Look at that. Them brilliant little colors just escaped out of juvie. All right. Give me my lure. Look at that. That is a nice little sheepy. All right. Go home. How many times am I going to say all right? <laughs> I don't. I don't think that qualifies as a filler word. All right. Unless you're Andre 3000. All right, all right, all right, all right, not later. Ooh, that didn't work. Trying to air dry my curl tail bug really quick. We've made it to the exit of the marsh. It's right around this bend up here to the left. And I've got to get ready to get through the open water but we're going to be going with the wind this time. I want to thank you all for tagging along on this video. It was awesome catching a super huge flatty here on the beautiful Texas coast. So if you enjoyed the video, click that thumbs up. I'm going to enjoy going home tonight and cooking that fella. So it's going to be tasty. That might be another video in itself. I don't know yet, but I do know that I've got to put the camera away, get this fish on ice because I've already bled him. And let's get back to that launch. I appreciate y'all for watching. For those of you not subscribed to the channel and you wanna see more, click the subscribe button. And while you're at it, click that little bell icon. That notifies you whenever I drop a new video. Uh, I try to at least post three a week. So that is for your entertainment value. All right. That's it. That's all I have for y'all. Tight lines until next time. That came out wrong. Until next time, tight lines. <laughs>